we are going to be working towards manipulating expressions that appear in calculus. But before going into the algebraic manipulation of such expressions that perhaps look extremely random, I thought I'd just go ahead and show you what these uh, sorts of expressions are that are going to appear in calculus and uh, let you know whether you're going to see them. Uh, these three expressions are going to appear as first derivatives of certain functions um, where a derivative is something that we learn how to compute in calculus. It ha uh, has various derivative rules to be able to get these expressions that you see, but in calculus we don't want just the expression, we want a clean expression because we need to be able to do something with that expression. So often we need to be able to um, simplify, reduce, um, factor, that sort of thing. We want it to look nice. And so we're going to learn how to do those sorts of manipulations on these kind of complicated looking expressions. But I just wanted to point out to you what these expressions are and where you're going to see them in calculus. Uh, like I mentioned, it's going to be a first derivative of a particular function, but I thought it would be fun just to write out what the function would be for each one of these. So for the first expression, if we start off with the function f of x equals uh, 4x plus 1 raised to the third power times 2x minus 5 raised to the second power, um, if we start out with that function, when we find the first derivative in calculus, we're going to get the expression we see here in the first example. And um, for the second one, if we start out with the function, this time it's going to be a rational function. The rational function we start off with is f of x equals, let's see, on the top it would be the factor 3x minus 1 squared, and then on the bottom it would be x squared plus 4. So if we start off with that rational function, we take its first derivative using the appropriate rules in calculus, we get the expression in 2. And then for the last one, um, if we start off with the function f of x equals, uh, let's see, it would be um, 3x times the square root of 1 minus x squared. And so if we start off with that function and we use the appropriate rules, we get the expression listed here in 3. But of course, like I mentioned earlier, we need to be able to clean up such expressions because right now they don't look very clean and we want to be able to do nice things like factoring and, um, and reducing fractions.